Can you believe the campaign's over, Andrew? Golly, man, what a great time this year's been. I mean, there's been so many different fun things that have gone on. We've had a lot of fun, good things happen to us. Yeah, you know, but you know, to tell you the truth, we really need to find next year's co-chairs. Let's have like an American Idol or X Factor or something like that. We can go, we can go do that for sure. That'll definitely work. I'm Simon, you're Paula. No, 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 no. You're Paula, I'm Simon, let's do this. sure that you guys are not doing this again next year. No more. <laughs> One year's check. enough. Well, I don't think it's going to be us <laughs> next year. Yeah. Is there something else we have to do? Dishes, trash, diaper changing, laundry, laundry clean the gutters, laundry. mow the uh, lawn, cooking dinner. Leaves are falling. Perfect Me. time of year to rake. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, they have a point. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think we can do it next year. <laughs> This job requires speaking a lot in front of groups. Are you comfortable with that? Also, girls be superheroes. They stick their, their arms like this when, when they're superheroes. Well, you're really good at public speaking, but, but do you have a driver's license? No, my, only my mom and dad does. Well, then how do you think you're going to be able to get to rallies? My hair's going to be long like a princess. We see you all over town on the street corners. Do you, would you use that kind of energy to, for next year's campaign? Do you have any special qualities that you can show us? If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? That's pretty good talent. Pretty good That'll talent, work. you bet. Tyson, one of our largest companies that donates back to United Way, and I mean, we know you can get in, but can you get out? <laughs> so this year, our theme was uh, the future is now. Uh, do you have any idea what your theme could be for next year? Superheroes. Superheroes, <laughs> my favorite too. So who do you think would be a good campaign co-chair? Batman. Batman's a pretty good idea. I'd rather have Batman than Andrew. <laughs> And look who it All is. right, All our two right. favorite co-chairs, back for some more. No. Not even loaned executive. Sing it, sing it, the King come Unites on. Gala. No. Come on, guys, come on, you can do something. Just something small. So this year's goal is pretty high. Can you count to five million? Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Pretty good start. Yeah. Five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Rog. What's up, man? Hey, Rog. We're glad to have you back. You'd make a great co-chair next year. We'd love to have you back. Let's get one thing straight. I have served my time. I'm trying to see if you fellows have what it takes to be in the past chairs club. What does it take to be in the past co-chairs club? Now, I, I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> Do you really consider yourselves leaders of men? Pat? Leaders of men? Leaders, leaders of men? Um, sure. Andrew has a six-month-old daughter. So you think you've sent men into battle? Well, we sent a group of loan executives out to do rallies at Tyson. Did they come back with their shields or on them? I know our loan executives came back with all their paperwork. They could work for the government. I'm interested. Are, are we in the club? Are, are we in the co-chair leadership club? I'll call you. Can you host Hometown Happy Hour? Can you even get into Hometown Happy Hour? So we appreciate you being here. What are your qualifications? Well, I'm not a cowboy. I'm a gold prospector, and the name is Yaledale, one of a proud and ancient family of Carolina Yaledales. Well, obviously you know how to find money, so what else brings you to Texas? Oh, the Texas Panhandle, where you can look farther and see less than anywhere else on Earth. Can you, can you perform in front of large audiences? Oh, I enjoy that. Under the greenwood tree, 
Who loves to lie with me? Come hither, come hither, come hither. So it's pretty important each and every year to set a, a high campaign goal. Uh, have you had any numbers come to your mind for what you want to raise for next year? Two. I mean, one, I mean, two, four. I really want this job, man. Being co-chair is a pretty tough job. Do you feel comfortable going out in public, shaking hands, talking to people, and speaking in front of large crowds? Okay, so it's like kissing babies, like politics, right? Oh, hey, I, I want to say something. You know, my fellow citizens, it's important that we understand what United Way really is. It's not a charity, it's a community building agency. If you look at your house and the houses on either side of you in your neighborhood, somebody is using a United Way agency. So, for all of us, let's give to United Way. And I approve this message. Political ad paid for by the committee to re-elect Paul Harpole. Now, do I get the job? Uh. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Where are we? 60, 61, Where are we? 62, Close. 63. Uh. So, Rampage, you and the Amarillo Bulls were big supporters of the United Way this year. Could you bring the Amarillo Bulls winning ways to the campaign next year? We think we found the right, uh, the right co-chair for you. What do you think about working with the Chick-fil-A cow? Uh, we got a past co-chair. I think this will work. Yeah, by the way, uh, uh, Pat, we were talking about uh, with Roger a little earlier this afternoon about the uh, past co-chair club. Know anything about it? Roger told you about that? See that thumb? That's what happened when it was just rumored that I talked about the past co-chairs. They broke my thumb. I'm pissed. We, we didn't know. I mean, Roger kind of hit around a little bit. Hey, what do you think about his qualifications? <laughs> you know, boys, I, I really don't need any qualifications. Uh, if you'll remember, I was the first co-chair to hit the big five million. Now, obviously, you're a well-respected businessman in the community. Where do you do your banking business? You know, I'm pretty happy where I'm banking today. So as campaign co-chair, how are you going to get into all these businesses all over town? I have some important people. What are y'all doing here? We're applying for the position. Our campaign message was the future is now, not we forgot about the past. It is clear that they need us. We've done this before. We know how to do it. This, this is, it is not rocket science. We know how to run businesses. It, it's time for a little more serious approach to they this. They need experience. We have that. My resume is wonderful. Yours is pretty good too. Yours is pretty darn good, I have to admit. Yeah, but you guys know that you can't be having these knee surgeries and all this stuff that, that goes wrong. You have to be there. I mean, you have to be there throughout the entire campaign. And we can't let SMU football games and hunting trips get in the way of the campaign. It's a four-month commitment. We, we, we got all that. I've, I've had it all worked on. We I've got it all behind us. We are, we are ready, ready to, to get ready out of the wheelchair go. and get after it. The times that we've run, run it, in the past, we, we've been a great success. Don't you think? People would remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we can take a nap in the afternoon, I think we'll be fine. <clears throat> uh, the campaign goals increased a lot since y'all were co-chairs back in the 80s. Was it the 80s? Maybe disco era. I don't uh, know. Whatever it is. I want this job, and I don't know any reason I shouldn't be uh, appointed for this job it is, one more time. It is time for us to get back and keep them in the place where they need to be. They need to have a little respect for their elders. They oh. keep talking about how great they are. Where do they think they learned this stuff? Well, where do you think they got this stuff? Of course, we taught them most of what we know, but we've got a few tricks. Yeah, they don't know everything. You know, I, and I'm, I'm like, Greg, I'm tired of going around town, and everybody knows these guys. Well, all this, this enthusiasm, you know, that, that wears on people. This, come on, let's go. What? Out. What? Out. What? Out. What? Come on, out. What? Out. What? Out. What? Out. Is that? out this way. What? What? Is that? Out. what? Does this mean we don't get it? Nope. Out. See y'all. <laughs> Appreciate y'all coming. <laughs> <laughs> Travesty <laughs> of justice. Number one. Now the <laughs> Are we really out of here? <laughs> well, Andrew, we met a lot of qualified people, but it doesn't seem like we found the right two. 
But you and I both know they're out there in Amarillo and Canyon somewhere. We'll find them. We will find them.